Hello everyone and welcome to the second tutorial of Survival Template Pro. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom building, I mean socket based building and also a free build. Like you can build literally anything. So firstly I'm going to show you how to make a socket based building. You just go into Survival Template Pro Prefabs Buildables in Socket. You duplicate the, uh, the wooden wall. I duplicated it and named it Stone Wall. After that you go into the prefab, I imported survival construction pack from the unit asset store, you have all the links to the assets in the description. Uh, you can buy it for yourself to use it uh, in your survival game or whatever project you are working on. Uh, you go into prefabs and put the stone wall right here. And now you just gotta rotate it and position it well something like this and just make sure it's positioned as well as yeah so we just make it match the old mesh just so it looks good then you can unpack the prefab and then just go into here and I know the older version you needed to name the object right here and change its name because if you have duplicate names they wouldn't work anymore but now you just go into tools buildings and we are adding a stone wall so we go to walls we got this log wall so we'll click the plus and here we will have the stone wall create buildable just gotta okay then we should be able to assign this to the stone wall. We set the building requirements to let's say two stones. Uh, you set the prefab to the prefab we used, which is the stone wall. This sprite, I don't know. I'm not sure if it matters. I think all the walls will have this icon. But yeah, we can set it to stone or something, I don't know. Maybe you have custom icons. Now you can set a description, I don't know. And just leave it like that. Required space walls. Space to occupy the walls. And I think we should be pretty good. We just should de deactivate the mesh renderer, disable it, and we should be good. I, when we hit play, we should be able to build the, the building and also match with the others so it should work like a wall. Just making sure I'm recording everything. So yeah, when we go into building, custom buildings, we just gotta make a foundation. And we have this wall. Now, you can place it, but it won't have the right material once you place it. And that's because... Oh gosh. Alright. And that's because you need to set this mesh renderer to the actual mesh renderer of the new wall. So now, if we hit play, everything should look and work well alright so now I'm going to show you how it works foundation and yeah now the material changes and everything is good okay so I hope this tutorial helps you can go through the same process again and again and add new buildings socket based or free uh, buildings just go into buildings add, an, add new data right here for any part you want to add let's say you want to add another cabin just go here add it uh, set the new created prefab that you duplicated and replace the model with. Uh, set it to the new data that you created. And then everything should work properly. I hope it helps. And also, give me ideas of tutorials for the future.